Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Eamon McEnany, and now we're going to talk puck as I'm joined by three members of the hockey team, Tyler Carpenter, Justin Janicki, and Grant Silinoff. Guys, welcome to Notre Dame Day 2024. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. I yeah, appreciate it. Justin, I'm going to start with you because yesterday your team did something pretty inspiring. Could you tell us a little bit more about the rally for Rudy? Yeah. Um, so, I guess starting off with Rudy Chapman, um, he was diagnosed with cancer uh, at a young age. So, um, before I was here, uh, the Notre Dame hockey program kind of adopted him in and brought him into our group and uh, made him part of our community. And then um, yesterday we kind of set up a car wash for him and um, just a, a nice fundraiser we could do for them, something that we enjoy. We've done it before. Um, so it, it turned out to be a really, really nice day, and it was a lot of fun. We Probably a little bit too much fun, but um, <laughs> we raised a good amount of money for him, so we're up to around $6,000. So. Um, really proud of it, but yeah, it was, like I said, a fun time, and it's always nice to support Rudy in any way. Um, he means a lot to our team and to our program. So. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, yeah. awesome job raising so much money. Tyler, how important are service opportunities to your team values, and do any similar experiences like that stand out to you? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've done a bunch of different service, uh, community service stuff. We've gone to Boys and Girls Club, uh, Cultivate Food. Uh, we've done a handful of readings at elementary schools, and um, it's something that Coach, Coach Jackson really harps on is our community service and making sure that we're really giving back to the community. Um, I mean, Notre Dame's nothing without South Bend and um, the fans, so, so getting, getting the chance to see a smile on uh, kids' faces or people's faces when we get a chance to meet them and hang out with them, it's, it's really special. And I think it creates a bond uh, within our group that's, that's really tight. I imagine these kind of experiences also go a long way in building com camaraderie. You're talking about how much fun you had yesterday at the car wash. Uh, Grant, I want to start with you. Uh, how do these opportunities and these uh, experiences make your team bond that much tighter? Yeah, I mean, I think we do a lot of stuff in the community that makes us tighter. Uh, us three, our whole team, we, we love being in the community and getting involved. And uh, I think a big thing for us also is being here in the summertime as well. Uh, so when we're here in the summer, we do some community service stuff, and then we're also some of the only people on campus. So, our, uh, you know, we, we hang out a lot with each other, and our team camaraderie is pretty good because of it. Yeah, obviously college athletes on mm -hmm. a team sport are spending a lot of time together. And, you know, I think one of the unique things here about Notre Dame is the, the trips you go away outside of the regular season and to abroad, and you guys are going to get to go to Belfast, I understand. Grant, let's start with you again. Uh, what's that going to be like in the friendship four that you're playing, and what is that, and what do you think that trip to Belfast is going to mean to this team? Yeah, uh, we're really excited for it. I think it started around 2015, and uh, each year they take four teams to go out there and uh, do a little tournament. And uh, this year we were fortunate enough to uh, be selected for it. And uh, we're all super excited for it. And uh, being able to go abroad to a different place with your teammates and, you know, go out there. And a lot of families will be out there. So uh, it'll be a really good time for us. Yeah, that trip's around next, uh, Thanksgiving in November. Tyler, how are you able to balance the competitive nature on that trip but you immerse yourself in the Northern Ireland culture? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, the million-dollar question right there. Um, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun, obviously. It's, it's going to be a new experience for a lot of us. I don't, know, I don't know if any of us three have been to Ireland. I don't know if any of the guys in the team have been to Ireland. But um, I think on top of getting to play two very competitive hockey games, we're going to try to do our best to, to go sightseeing, go on as many tours as we can, uh, meet as many new people as we can and, like you said, immerse ourselves in the culture as much as we can away from the rink. Um, but when it, be, when it comes time for hockey, these are two very important games and um, they're going to be big for the standing. So hockey first, but sightseeing is definitely going to be uh, close second. Uh, hockey, NHL now taking center stage with the playoffs. Uh, you two are from Minnesota. I'm from New York. Anders Lee, the former Domer, captain of the Islanders. How pumped and excited do you guys get to watch the former Domers in the playoffs? Yeah, obviously it's a it's a, the best time of the year. I mean, everybody loves playoff hockey, so a um, number of our alums are, are competing, so obviously following it, and um, I'm, I'm kind of bummed the Wild aren't in it, but um, no, I mean, obviously cheering those guys on and aspiring to reach that, that level someday is a goal of all of us, so um, it's, it's obviously such a joy to, to watch and follow them for sure. Grant, let me follow up on that. You know, you mentioned it's inspiring to see Notre Dame guys in the NHL. You grew up in the same region as uh, Anders Lee, and obviously Minnesota's produced a ton of NHL players. But, you know, how motivating is that for you to see a guy from uh, your region be a captain on an NHL team? Yeah, no, it's really cool. Um, he actually uh, is pretty good friends with my cousin, so I've met him a few times and I've been able to golf with him and stuff. And uh, he's, he's a great guy, and, you know, being able to watch him now and do that, it, it's 
so cool to see and obviously that he went to Notre Dame it makes it even more special for all of us here so uh, growing up in that same area though it's cool yeah Tyler, back to where we started here about, you know, giving back to the community. How do you balance everything here at Notre Dame? You guys are playing top-level hockey in the Big Ten. You, you know, dream about getting to the Frozen Four and winning it all. you got to go to class here at Notre Dame where that's rigorous. And then you throw in the community service. What's the key to balancing the whole package here at Notre Dame? Well, one of the great things about coming to Notre Dame is, is the people that surround you here and the support system that you have, um, coaches, administrators, teachers. Um, everyone is there to help you kind of balance uh, your day-to-day -day life and make sure that you're not missing um, certain, like you said, community service events or stuff like that. So making sure you're staying on top of your stuff. Um, the support staff here is great, and I know us three couldn't really get through Notre Dame without them. So it's a, it's a great community to have here. Tyler, Justin Grant, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll let you go back to your studies or watching a West Coast NHL playoff game. But thanks a lot. It was great meeting you and spending some time with you. Thank you very awesome. much. Thank you.